I'm Achebe Powell, and my relationship or relationship with Estrella began um, in 1977 when I was Betty uh, Powell, and um, began in Nancy Dean and Beva Eastman's living room when we uh, they had a dinner really and said uh, you know, all women who want to come together and discuss whether or not there's a need for a women's foundation, please uh, come. One tenth of one percent of all funding that went um, you know, from foundations to projects throughout this country, only one-tenth of one percent of that uh, went to fund women's and girls' projects. I mean, we were crazy passionate about yeah. this thing called Australia. And uh, it just, also with that sense of, you knew you were building something. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know quite what. I mean, there's no way that we, you know people can go back and, and then start reaching back and then talk about how you had, you know, the, we didn't have the vision for what Australia actually is now. What we had the vision for it was this is work that needs to be done, and if we do it, you know, it's going to it's going to impact people's lives, and if we set it up right as much as we can, you know, other people can keep stepping in and keep carrying your dream forward. I realized it was about my first year at Australia and I was going through the archives mm -hmm. and I found um, our old docket, our 1981 spring docket, um, and it was, I think, $5,000 <laughs> that Australia had given away in total. The spring of 81, <laughs> total. Okay. Um, and one of those organizations um, was an organization that when I was 15 years old, and we were um, trying to have a GSA at our school, and they mm -hmm. said no. It was a, um, a domestic violence organization, um, and they opened up their doors to us. Mm -hmm. Australia had funded this group in 1981, mm -hmm. the year that I was born, and 15 years later, yeah. when I when I yeah. needed space, when mm -hmm. I needed affirmation, mm -hmm. um, when I needed um, uh, sort of just like reassurance that who you are is okay. Right. Um, that space opened up their doors to us. Those fierce Australia women in '81 mm -hmm. were uh, carving out space for me. Yeah. And that it wasn't just about what was happening then in 81, but it was about that space being open for years mm -hmm. and years to come. Mm -hmm. So this newsletter then is from 1981. It's the spring of 1981, mm -hmm. uh, the funding uh, for that year, which includes the Umbrella Inc. group of St. John's uh, Barry, Vermont. Right. And you were either being, have you, were you already born? I was all, not quite yet born. You were not quite yet born. It was like born. a month or two before I was born, okay. yeah. So this is the spring of 1981. And right. I was, I was just saying. Just stating. Yeah. Just as were we. <laughs> in a sense, I mean, we, you know, you we were already out there and so forth, but there was a sense for the first three, four, five years that we were still a borning, mm -hmm. literally still a borning, but um, uh, alive enough <laughs> right. to fund the Umbrella uh, Inc. folk who would later embrace you. I was so thirsty, I think, at that point as a young dyke. Um, to, to see myself, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's just, yeah. I don't think I knew how much I needed that space. Right. That notion of giving back is also, it been very much a part of our initial vision. Mm -hmm. It was giving to and giving back at the time that we were saying everybody can become a steward, you know, right. of of our own destiny, of our own, um, you know, of our own lives. These women truly get it, mm -hmm. head and heart, right. that they get it, and that we could count on them mm -hmm. to carve out the spaces right. for the miles is, you know, yet unborn or right. just being born right. or whatever. And, and that's, again, the, the kind of, the, mm, how should I say, the resonance and the resonating, but also the really folding together this word I'm, I'm, I'm searching for here, but how our vision and their, their vision for their work and our vision for our, our work really you know, came together in such a way that was authentic and that was productive. It produced, and I don't mean productive just you know, producing work, but produced the kinds of results in the world which for us writ large is change, mm -hmm. change. There's something about um, the grit, you mm. know, like the yeah. determination. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was. And it was um, uh, a sort of like strident in a mm -hmm. really good mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. you know, that yeah. was like, no, we are going to go out yeah. and get yeah. these resources um, and we are going to uh, 
sort of direct philanthropic attention, mm -hmm. not just our own, but others, others you know, working yes. with, with other foundations mm -hmm. to direct attention to women and girls, mm -hmm. to, to queer women, to mm -hmm. women of color, yeah. um, immigrant women, yeah. women in prison, yeah. you know. The work of this, of this enterprise is funding, offering to people the financial support they need to do the work in the world that we feel is so important. And so that financial support, we have to bring everybody into being a part of that. And yeah. yeah.